Hey, welcome back. So today we are going to be doing this really basic look, but I need to go take passport pictures and I don't want to stray away from just a very classic, timeless look. I wanted something that was just going to enhance my natural features, um, add just a little bit of color, but not anything that was really crazy or bright. So if you guys want to see how I got this look, let's go. All right, guys, so I am getting ready to take passport pictures and probably not the best time since i have a little extra weight on me <laughs> but um i started to get ready i'm like let me just film it so i started off taking the nars um corrector and the shade i have is in medium and i just did it under my eyes and around the um, outside of my mouth and that's all i have on so far but i will mention that i did use the pat mcgrath labs primer it's just so good. I needed something that was going to add some plumpness and hydration to my skin and that always does it. I'm a little torn between what foundation to wear. I want to use the NARS Soft Matte Foundation, Pat McGrath, and then also the Tarte um, Born This Way Matte. I'm even debating on the Charlotte Tilbury Foundation. I can't find it though. The reason why I'm pulling for these is because they are matte, they are long wearing, um, they'll photograph really well, but I just feel like, I guess at this point, it's what's going to match me best. I think I'm going to do the Born This Way in Praline. Okay, so I'm going to take Praline, which this is my summer shade. I typically wear sand. And I'm just going, yeah, this is definitely the way to go. All right guys, so I had to do my hair because it was starting to set and that would have been a hot mess to fix. I wanted to let you guys know that I did set my face using the Pat McGrath Light Medium 2 Powder and I'm going to take my Charlotte Tilbury um, Airbrush Flawless Setting Spray. This is my jam guys. This is what I go to. All right guys, I lined my lips with this Kevin Aquan pencil in medium. I don't know why, but we're going to leave it for now. Um, I am going to take my Charlotte Tilbury Barbarella pencil and I'm going to do just like a half wing. Um, I'm not going to line my entire eye. I'm just going to do a little, little baby wing. This is what my complexion looks like after the setting spray has set. As you guys can see, it still maintains its matte finish, but I feel like it looks a little bit more hydrated. So I'm going to go ahead and do my liner. We'll come back to do the rest of the complexion um, and then I'll have mascara on also. As I mentioned, I have a little bit of extra weight. Um, and as you guys can see, I did do a little wing liner. I kept it very simple. I'm gonna take my Makeup by Mario um, bronzer. And the shade I have is medium dark. And I don't know if I should use it with, let me see. I think I'm just going, no, I'm going to use my brush. So I'm going to use my brush, load it up with the bronzer. Yeah, that was a good call. And then I'm going to hit my jawline for sure. Because, you guys, this chunky face is just not the vibe. <laughs> I didn't realize that our passports were expired, so we're taking a trip. And I have to quickly renew my passport. My husband does too. Our son has never had a passport, so he'll be getting one. And um, I'm like, man, this is freaking perfect timing. It's going to be 10 years of that passport picture looking like a chunky monkey. So I want to try and make my face look as slender as possible. I'm going to take the same brush and then just run it on the sides of my face, my nose. I'm also going to take just my foundation brush and lightly clean up these edges. I'm loving the way that this looks. I'm going to take his bronzer also in medium dark and I am going to just reinforce what I've already placed. So for my blush, I'm going to be using this Orgasm on the Beach palette by NARS. <sighs> Guys, this palette is just stunning. Um, I think just based on what I'm wearing, 
I think I'm gonna make use this. I'm gonna go in lightly. I love how sheer these are. Like you can definitely build them up and you're going to get really intense payoff. But initially they're very soft to work with. I'm gonna bring this up into my temple a little bit. So as I mentioned, I went in with this Kevin Aquan lip pencil in medium. I'm looking at this liner and I need to go in and just deepen it a little bit. So I like using my MAC 210 with this when creating a wing liner. It just gives me more control. I'm going to take Lisa Aldridge Velvet Beauty, which I think matches my dress beautifully. All right, guys, and this is the final look. All right, guys, so here's the final look. As you guys can see, it's very simple. I just enhanced my natural features. But as I'm looking at this, I'm going to take a little bit of the Patrick Ta bronzing powder and just lightly define my crease. And again, all I'm doing is just enhancing my natural features. I'm not adding anything else to really add color or like I'm keeping it very basic and simple because I want my picture to be timeless. I don't want it to look like I have on a ton of makeup or really bright colors. Like just keep it very simple. I will be doing another get ready with me. Um, I feel like that's what I've been doing these days. Um, but I have a maternity shoot tomorrow. And I have literally been trying to think about how I'm going to do my makeup. And I want to use a little bit of color and shimmer. But we'll see. It might end up being basic like this. Sometimes you can't fight a classic look. All right, here we are. I hope that you guys enjoyed this. Please be sure to subscribe, hit that notification bell, and like this video. Please leave a comment down below letting me know if you have any recommendations for upcoming videos, and I will talk to you guys soon. Bye.